Hey there, if you're looking for a fun and easy way to earn rewards, including cash and prizes, check out the link in the video description. When Jamie Carragher was approached to join CBS's UEFA Champions League Today panel, he'd already established himself as one of the most notable pundits in soccer. But while English viewers had long grown accustomed to the Liverpool legend's cutting remarks and eye-opening analysis on Sky Sports, there was one aspect of Carragher's punditry that CBS Sports senior creative director Peter Radovich was concerned about. He was worried whether or not the audience would understand me, Carragher tells US News over Zoom. Radovich had a foolproof plan to discover whether Carragher's Scouse accent was decipherable to the American ear. Would you believe these three executives played a video of me to all their wives and it was basically down to them to decide if they could understand me. Even then, Carragher failed to get a unanimous decision. Two of them did, one was not sure. So I just got the votes. It's safe to say that the decision worked out well for both CBS and Carragher. UEFA Champions League today's coverage of soccer's premier European competition has been met with critical acclaim, almost all of which is down to the playful camaraderie between host Kate Abdo and pundits Thierry Henry, Micah Richards, and Carragher. Every week footage of Abdo mocking Richards, his contagious laughter, a cheeky Carragher quip, or Henry giving a pause the office would be proud of gains just as much online chatter as that round of games best goals. A lot of it is spontaneous, explains Carragher. None of us really know what Kate's gonna say. We react to that. One of us might know a funny clip of me or Micah is going to be used. It's about being ourselves and reacting to those situations. The team we have is so great at doing that and they're always trying to catch us out. While Henry telling Jack Grealish that he'd be able to take on Kyle Walker in his prime and Richards literally crying with hysterics due to Carragher's mispronunciation of Internationale are two of the show's most watched clips. There's one example from the 2022-23 campaign that Carragher says sums up what makes the show so popular. As they were interviewing AC Milan defender Fikeo Tamori, Richards turned to Carragher off-camera to confirm how to pronounce his name. This proved to be a big mistake. I just totally got it wrong. So both of us were constantly saying his name wrong. At the end Kate makes a joke, you can see the shock on our faces, but we make a joke of it. Carragher insists they wouldn't have been able to get away with such an error in England, especially when it comes to the Premier League's biggest games. There's no way people would accept what we do on CBS on Sky. They would think we were showing a lack of respect or that we didn't know our stuff. That would have been taken a completely different way. If anyone is seen laughing or joking about a result or performance or interview, it's jumped on. UCL Today is a different show because people are watching it without that tribalism. I think everyone is watching it in a good mood waiting to be entertained. That's not to say that there haven't been attempts to make the English coverage a little more lighthearted. Sky Sports Monday Night Football show allows for more joking and laughing, with Carragher adding, I feel like I have more ownership over it because I'm on it every week, we normally bring a guest on, and it's us trying to make them feel welcome with a joke and a laugh. At the same time, he would never want to change the opening hour of MNF. This is when he's able to really analyze games in an eye-opening and meticulous manner. After 11 years at Sky Sports, both Carragher and the show continue to draw plaudits. I wouldn't say the producers at Sky are saying, do this it will be funny. They really want top analysis. We want to be the best and most respected show about football. With CBS, the producers are always asking, how can we make this funny? It think it's probably down to American culture. It's new to me. But I love it. Carragher's contract with Danish sports channel TV3 Sport had just concluded when CBS approached him in the summer of 2020 to join their coverage of the Champions League's COVID hit knockout tournament in Lisbon. Having previously had to travel across Europe to cover the games live, Carragher was instantly attracted to the chance to work in a studio from London. I really wanted to cover the Champions League. I just...